Okay, so I've been kind of hyping up the Colorado trip, trying to get you guys excited for a new car, which I'm excited about, but like, I'm just excited. We're in it. I'm just excited to be here with Trevor. Right? Yeah. Excited? I booked a one-way trip out here to Colorado. I think that's hilarious. I think you're going to stay like freaking three weeks, really. So I kind of can't. I have, <laughs> I have some stuff that I got to handle back home that's like really important. Yeah, I've, I've heard about that stuff. But. Yeah, it's not fun stuff. But, that is, uh, that is look at the mountains. But uh, we're going to eat and talk about stuff and probably not film it. We're going to go look at a... Do you want to go look at a car? I want to get a dirt bike. Can we go get dirt bikes? I have a dirt bike at the shop. Do you? I, I want a 150R. Okay. Uh, do you want to go look at something with a V10 in it? Sure. That's all we'll drive. All right, dude. What What's going on with the Saab? I thought I thought that this car was all that and a this. cup of tea. What? Oh, no. Yeah, all right, you got two. Oh, two. Not much this one. Ah, ah, all right, ah, she's all right. Ah, oh, you got to reach behind. Ah, there you go. Okay, honestly, I, I see you, Saab. Yeah, I, I bet Saab's got some cup holders. No, no cup holders no, in there. No cup holders right, right there. But anyway, yeah, I'm impressed. So um, we actually are going to look at a V10 car right now. V10 all-wheel drive? Yeah. It has, that, I feel like that kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Turn right on the Templeton Gap in, Road. In a way. Uh, this isn't for me, by the way. I don't, I would I mean, never. It, it might. All-wheel drive is. I'm Dumb. Gonna, I'm gonna be like, it's expensive, and you're gonna be like, actually, that sounds really cool. And then you're gonna end up with another car. I mean, it's okay, I'll build it for you though. A rally car with a V10 would be cool. Should I pull in front of this guy? Yeah. Mom told me to never pull out. It's been so long since I've been at your shop, dude. How long has it been? Like two years? A year? It's been five years? Two freaking years. Alright, so, so which car is mine? That's what you guys probably wanna know, huh? Which one of these is gonna be my drift Steve, steed for the weekend? So I think what I, I kind of want to get my does it run right now? Yeah, is it on the ground. Yeah, I think what I'd like to do because I haven't seen this car in person ever. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this, this is not starting off the hype train right. I think I don't want to even go in the shop. I think I want to just have you like open up, open like, up the door, open up the like... door. But it, it's got to be running so like so you can get that rev. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's part of the experience. Cause if if it's not running, they're gonna be like, "What is this piece of junk?" I mean, it runs. Yeah. I mean, which it's got the thing in it that like makes it run, which is good. Gas. No, the engine in it. It's got that the good engine. Oh, it's got that good good. It's got that good good. Yeah. Ooh, it's it has that good good. What? I'm not gonna talk. First time seeing in person. Something wrong with it, I think. Playing with the fuel switch. No, that's how you have to He thinks he's so it. funny. the taillights do I think one's out yeah, alright let's talk about this thing uh, yeah all right so I'm not gonna lie it's it's definitely more of like a 10 footer than a 5 footer it's like a 15 and a half footer I think, is what... it looks pretty good from far away so I, I guess I guess the first thing should we talk about the history talk, well, what like, do you think you, know, you meet a hot girl it's like do you really want to know her history or do you really care but is this uh, a hot girl like, like it's um, this is like one of those ones that you might be embarrassed, like it'd be fun yeah. for a night, but you wouldn't want to tell your friends about. <laughs> you really don't want to ask. <laughs> so this car, you guys may or may not recognize it. Uh, I would say it's probably the most famous on YouTube because it was owned by a friend of mine named Caleb. But uh, what would you say? This car has been through five or six owners in the past two years or something absurd? No owners. Yeah, like there's them. probably more. So the story behind this car, um, it is a Jay-Z... S13, okay, 1J. We'll go over the specs a little bit more, but there's a Super D event in Pacific Northwest, and I wasn't going to be able to bring any of my cars out there because the toter is gonna have to be used for FD, which I think is like the weekend after, and we just couldn't make both happen. And I was kind of joking around with Chelsea about getting a car off him, and he's like, well, I have Quambeck's old car that I'll sell to you. So I kind of worked out that I was gonna get it off him for Super D, and then Trevor's event was coming up, and I couldn't get a car out here for that. So Trevor's like, oh, well, I'll ship the car that you got off Chelsea out here for the event. Help, help him prep it, go over all the little stuff. So I think this was actually Quanbeck's car. He gave it away once, 
Then he it went to a guy, he sold it to a guy, it came back, then it was in Florida. Then Quanback got it again, did another giveaway with it, and then I think the guy who won it just wanted cash instead. So Chelsea then, bought so it. Chelsea just gave him cash, and then uh, Caleb took it up to Washington or whatever, where wherever they're at. I think it's Oregon. Yeah. Took it to Oregon, and then uh, and then here we go. So it's. Uh, and it was like it was rough. It's been through a lot of different owners, and Chelsea was planning on making it a school car. So Chelsea actually started going over it, and uh, I know Chelsea said he redid the cooling on it. He did some bushings in the back. He put a new um, drift motion turbo on it, and uh, it was still a little bit rough to say the least. <laughs> I mean, there's 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 been some things and stuff. So one of the, one of the, like the oil filter. Yeah. Should we look at it? Yeah, let's let's go around. So, mind you guys, Trevor Trevor's had this car what for like a week now? It's about a week. So he's had the car for about a week and he's been going over it. Trevor's been filming stuff and what are you gonna have a video kind of all the maintenance and stuff you've been doing and. Nothing wrong with Adam LZ's new drift car. When will that video be up? Tomorrow? Probably tomorrow. Maybe all today. All right. Probably so tomorrow. it's gonna be tomorrow. Check the link in the description, Motion Auto TV, if you guys want to see the video on how janky this car was before he started going over it. So talk to me. Tell me about things. The cooling system on this thing. See, it rips. Like these freaking fans. I don't know what they are. I think they they might be out of a Taurus or something. Yeah, I heard Chelsea they, talking about them. They freaking rip. And then I think he leaned the radiator forward. Yep. Uh, get a little bit more clearance and everything. So that seems like it works really good. Um, that air filter was like, it, it was like it was an actual oil filter. It was like just only like oil and dirt and stuff. Rip. So that was like the first thing to change. Change the oil, the tranny fluid, the diff fluid, fuel filter. Um, but in order to actually get the oil filter off, so it has this oil cooler right here. These lines. Uh huh. But so we actually had to jack up, it like loosen the motor mount. Oh my God, it's like, it, it, oh, that's annoying because the way the sandwich mount is, yeah. huh? So we had to do that. To, that's um, that's funny. But we got her changed. So um, then, so okay, so that's why you're saying probably no one's changed the oil filter while owning this car. <laughs> in a while, yeah. Yeah, so if, if you guys don't understand what we're saying, um, the oil filter is trapped by the frame rail because of that sandwich plate. So there's no way to get to the oil filter without jacking the engine up for clearance. That's yeah. funny. So we did that. Or I guess yeah. you might be able to get like a look shorty the, filter. Look at the air filter that was, on, that it. was on it. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Like <laughs> so spec wise for the engine, just to go over it real quick, it's a R154. Uh, is it tripod style? Do you know? No. Okay, so Mark, it's a Mark III Super style. All right, Mark III Super R154 mated to a VVTi 1J with a drift motion turbo. So if this thing's turned up, she'll be making somewhere in the mid to high 300s. But right now it is on lower boost until you put uh, until we put a controller on it. Um, but let's, uh, man. The paint, like, it looks good from a distance. Up close, it's a little mm -hmm. iffy, but... Yeah, all right. and I think this is just a really cheap Duraflex kit, too. Is it? So this, yeah, I mean, it just, it all kind of goes on together, and, and it, it comes off together, too. <laughs> so the, the beauty behind this car was that uh, we were talking for Trevor's event. He was talking about, like, getting a car off one of his friends or, like, trying to find a car, but we would have had to put a lot of time and effort into it where this kind of was turnkey in the sense that Chelsea had been driving it, knew that it was sorted, so it was a little bit less of a headache. Like, I'm not gonna rent cars anymore, it'd be easier just to buy this, drive it, and then either flip it or find another use for it, so. Yeah, or just keep it out here in Colorado and come come to some more of the events. Yeah. Did, oh, did I just crunch the fender? No, it's, it's been crunched, it's, oh, okay. it's all right. Whoops. All right, so, uh, you wanna give me the rundown? Uh, You've been with her for a while. I mean, I, I just know how how picky you are, so I, yeah. I figure this thing's gonna get torn down, full respray. Um, nah, we'll keep. Oh, you know what? Okay, so my one of, one of my biggest concerns though was the head clearance. I thought it would have like a janky cage where the the you know the actual bar would yeah. hang down really low. It's not that bad. Yeah. Like it's it's tucked up decently. The cage, even though it's all rusty and gross, it doesn't look like it has terrible welds or anything. No, I mean I honestly think it should be like a solid car. It's it's mostly it's just been like sitting. Yeah. And like used. You know, so so like honestly, we could have probably like rolled it off the trailer and like took it to the event, but it's just kind of like finicky maintenance stuff that, like, we wanted to take care of mostly. So, and he'll like if you guys want to see a lot of that stuff, it'll be in his videos. But my big thing was like doing fluid flush and you know making sure these R154s will get grindy and stuff. And Chelsea said it was having issues from second to third, so I wanted new fluid and just basically make it so getting this car is worthwhile and not just gonna blow up or break the first time we go for a rip. Dude, this shifter. That's, that's, that's a that's long it. throw, huh? That's it. That, oh my god. That's kind of cool. It's like you're rowing a boat. Dude. This thing. So, the cool thing about this car too, I've never really had like a cool, fun, rad car that I don't care about. And this is like the perfect oh, this is the thing to not car. care about. Yeah, yeah. No, That was the first thing that we said when, when like we were looking at it. I'm like, Adam is going to freaking hate this thing so much, he's going to love it. 
Cause you just you're not gonna care about it. Yeah. And like the quarter panels, like you just push them in, and like it's just tricky. Give her the thrust. So I'm excited to see how you drive this thing. I am too. I hope I hope it holds up, and I hope it rips. We got a. Uh, well, so I'm gonna. I want to do a livery. Didn't really have time, so I like kind of made a quick livery, which I'll show you guys. I'm gonna put it in towards the end of this video, and I got wheels for it just to make it a little bit cooler. Cause I, I want to make it feel like a little. A, it's a little bit more my car, um, but. Uh, yeah, so if you remember, I built the Skyline for Super D last year, and it was supposed to be because I hated the four-door Skylines. I thought they were terrible, so I would have a car that I just didn't really care about, and I wound up loving the car. Because for Super D, it's just a lot of like really aggressive, really hard driving, and I thought it was so cool how everyone was crashing their cars with the Oki and stuff, and I wanted to do that. To where this thing will be perfect. It'll be reliable, still stock ECU, VVTi 1J, pump gas, simple, tiny little turbo. And um, so long as the drivetrain components hold up, I think we'll be good. You think this thing still has a stock clutch? It has a stock pressure plate for sure, but a lot of people just throw discs and I'm like a six puck. Yeah. Disc and it'll, because the clamping force is pretty good. Oh yeah, I see the pedal just feels soft. Yeah. It drives like a gauge doesn't Yeah. It feels all right, but like I said, I only drove down the street that once, so. Let's see if I can figure out how to start her. Fuel, ignition, yep. starter, yep. that's it? Yep. Look at that shifter. I might want to put like some sort of ghetto boot on this. Yeah. Look at this thing. This is my first coupe. It's got a sunroof too. I've never had a sunroof car. All right, so I did get a new seat for it, new harnesses, because these ones are very sketchy. And uh, the car still has like five month old gas in it, so I'm not going to uh, rip on it right now. I just want to take it for a quick cruise, and then um, we're going to drain the gas. I'm going to put some wheels and some stickers on it, and we'll show you guys uh, how it looks and how she rips. The steering wheel's a little crooked, I'm gonna fix that. Did, uh, do you have tow plates, Trevor? Yep. Yeah, she's a little laggy. Is that just the drift motion turbo, you think, or the bad gas? It could be the drift motion turbo and then the factory blow-off valve. Oh, yeah? Because yeah. I, haven't, I haven't deleted that yet. Oh, but we have the delete setup for the blow-off valve, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the factory blow-off valve on these Trevor's tell me can actually hurt school a little bit, so. We don't have a plate or anything, so we're not gonna take this on the road right now. To get the these gauges to work, you have to have the dash light thing on. Got it. Because that's how they get their power, I guess. All right, so stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll get her faster by the end of this video. <laughs> so, I, like, for me, for whatever reason, I feel like wheels make a car. So, I kind of last minute tried to order wheels, and the kind of tried and true for what I do on these cars is the works in the 17, 18 staggered, just because there aren't a lot of companies that make wheels in the specs that I need for the setups that I like to run. And this car's an 18s all around right now, and Trevor was saying it rubs in the front. So, what what kind of wheels do you think I did? What what would be the most typical Adam move to do? Really lame ones. Yeah, look really at me. Cheap ones. So played out with the stupid CR guys, but 
they work and they always look good, so. All right, I'm gonna mount some tires to these real quick. I think quick. you're the only person ever to put works on a missile car. You think? <laughs> <laughs> you might not be wrong. Uh, whatever, they'll be cool. I like these wheels. Awesome. We're in a rush to get out of here because we gotta go over to the track. Trevor's gotta drop his car off. So I'm gonna start working on some of the vinyl stuff. Dave's gonna do the most important job and mount the tires to the brand new wheels. Dave, you think you can handle it? Maybe, we'll see. These ones are on the front, right? Uh, I don't know. Are these the 17s? Are these the 17s or the 18s? I can't tell. Um. I also got a seat off Chelsea that I'm gonna throw in later just so I can have something that fits me a little bit better and I actually feel safe in. I'm gonna sit on the side, cause that's the side I'm saying. I never run, I just start looking. Oh, you're gonna leave me with this? Thing? What? <laughs> What's going on with that? All right, guys. I was digging for gold. Okay, that's. I gotta. All right. Gold this is what you're looking at now. And this is what you're looking at now. What do you think? From from 15 feet away, I feel like it looks pretty cool. Between the wheels and the vinyl. 15. Well, I mean, this is probably a 10 footer now. Yeah. From so. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty stoked with how it came out. Uh, I cleaned it up real quick. Put some body panels back together a little bit, and uh, I think she looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna be embarrassed to be driving this thing around. I think it looks pretty rad. This might be one of those one night things that you might tell your friends about. What do you mean? Oh yeah, so oh, we've yeah, escalated now. now. Well, you just you gotta make sure you you find the right picture. Dude, right yeah, you screen. you get the right angle and like it kind of looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna play around probably. I still gotta do the line on the other side. These are 18s in the front right now. I have 17s for it, but we just need to go get some tires for them. Um, but uh, we're gonna work on this a bit more tonight. But I wanted to upload this same day. That way I could remind you guys that tomorrow at Pikes Peak International Raceway. PPIR. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Yep. And it's Fountain, Colorado. So uh, it's right down down the interstate. But uh, I'll put the flyer here if I can get it flyer, while I edit. Link in the description probably to the Facebook group. Okay. Uh, it's twenty dollars for spectators for both days. Uh huh. Uh, or twenty twenty dollars for the whole weekend basically. Uh, camping, live music, and a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna go out there for thrash. Oh, eighth mile drags. So. This thing still needs a little bit of buttoning up. Uh, I'm gonna crank the boost up and get this thing ripping. I'll probably film that, but you guys won't see it till tomorrow's video, which will be combined with the first day of the uh, drift event. So anyway, we're gonna throw the old wheels back on, and go rip some donuts, close this video out, head over to the track, and then start the next one. So I hope you guys like the uh, missile car for a couple events out here in West. Would you consider this West, Midwest? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like up. middle, middle. It's like middle-ish West. I think we're Midwest pretty much. Like Kansas Sick. Anyway. There she is. One thing I did forget to mention, um, if you notice, this graphic's actually modeled after a Porsche livery that's uh, common on some like GT cars and stuff that Porsche actually sells. I just kind of ran into a bind and I wanted to do some crazy livery, but I knew that we'd be last minute installing stuff. So I just wanted something simple to uh, kind of tie in with the white wheels. So what's going on here, Trev? Well, we're just deleting this, uh, this is like the boost like valve for the factory blow off valve. Uh huh. So from what I understand these things, it bypasses this until like 3000 RPM and basically lets it not make boost. So it gives it like a really smooth linear torque curve. Cause you know how crazy these things are down yeah. low. Like they're just like super rowdy and peaky with the torque. Yep. Like, like right there. And as you felt it was just like, and then it kind of comes in. So uh, basically I'm just deleting this, this whole thing and running it, the vacuum line straight to here. So we're going to see this should make it work like a normal block valve. Uh -huh. uh, but if not, we're just going to disconnect it and no block valve. Sounds good. So we think the reason why it might be so laggy right now is it might uh, have a stuck VVTi solenoid because it feels slower than a non-VVTi 1J. So Trevor actually has a new one laying around and we're probably going to swap that later. So in the meantime, we'll do some celebratory donuts and then get over to the track. Both the tail lights work now. Hey, both the tail lights work now. See you tomorrow. <laughs>